اجلاس شورای حقوق بشر ملل متحد ژنو 28 اسفند 1402 I give the floor to Women's Human Rights International Association. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. I appreciate the fact-finding mission's report and all efforts to expose the crimes of the Iranian regime which try to the labeling of the crimes brutality as crimes against humanity. While acknowledging your valuable work, I must acknowledge that despite its strength and factual nature, your report only touches upon a small fraction of the regime's crimes and exposes them. Thousands of yours have not been able to testify as they are uh, so still under repression, torture, Distinguished delegate of Iran, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. I, I had hesitate to interrupt the speakers, but since I, I have seen that, uh, that she's continuing his um, inaccurate using from my country, I again, I kindly request you, Mr. Vice President, to remind them that we are here to speak and to listen with a very um, polite manner. Thank you. Thank you. And may I request that all delegations to deal with that, that all delegations to deal with human rights issues with dignity and respect and to adhere to the well established principles of the United Nations. Uh, with this understanding in mind I give the floor back to the speaker. Thousands of yours have not been able to testify as they are still under repression, torture, and threat. As a former political prisoner in Iran with five years of imprisonment experience, I'm here to testify about the regime's crimes. Farooq Taqipur and Marzia Farsi, who were detained after the uprising, were each sentenced to 15 years in prison. Maria Akbari Monfayet, in her 15 years of imprisonment, was sentenced to additional three years in prison for supporting the uprising. The fearful reaction of the authorities of the regime proves they extreme concern about the about exposing I need to interrupt once again we have point of order and this is representative Iran you have the floor Mr. Ver Vice President, sorry to interrupt again and uh, request the point of order. Since the speaker is not going to adhere to the, your role, Mr. President, your advice, so I, uh, re I request, request you, Mr. Vice President, to stop his, her statements because she's not in a position to adhere to the principles and roles of the Council. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I must once again repeat and to, to my request to all delegations uh, to deal with human rights issues with dignity and respect and to adhere to the well-established principles of the United, uh, United Na Nations. Uh, this applies to all the speakers and uh, I would, uh, with this understanding in mind, uh, I would give back the floor to the speaker but I would once again to, to request to deal with these issues with dignity and respect and to adhere to, to the uh, principles of the United Nations. The fearful reaction of the authorities of regime proves their extreme concern about exposing their crimes. Your report. Of I have to interrupt once again. We have a point of order. Distinguished representative Iran. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. It should not be my point of order, Mr. President, Vice President. It should be uh, from Secretariat and the President of the Station to interrupt her uh, statement, I think, because you three times at least you remind her and requested her to be uh, obliged to the rules of the council but unfortunately she is still insisting, insisting on his uh, inappropriate approach. Thank you. Thank you very much for your statement. Uh, we have the established uh, list of speakers and uh, we have to follow with this, uh, this list. Uh, but I once again want to plead to, this, to the speaker to uphold with the, with, the, with the principles of the United Nations and to treat this body with, uh, with dignity. Uh, so with this understanding, I uh, give back the floor to the speaker to conclude. 
a goal for which thousands of Iranian people have sacrificed their lives. It is time to, bri to, to bring the case of Iranian authorities for the crimes against humanity to the United Nations Security Council, not only for the 2022 uprising, but also for the 45 years of violation of human rights, including the 1988 massacre. I assure you that the primary demand of Iran... Thank you very much for your statement. This was the last speaker that we could accommodate for this dialogue. I now give the floor to the members of the fact-finding mission for their concluding remarks. Ms. Sarah Hossein, you have six minutes and 30 seconds.